Number 51. As a safe driver, you may prevent a road collision. A. By making frequent lane changes. B. By keeping extra space between vehicles. C. By staying on the left side of the lane. Correct answer is B. By keeping extra space between vehicles. Question number 52. Two solid yellow lines on the pavement mean that A. All traffic must stay to the left of these lines. B. Traffic can only move in one direction. C. Passing is not allowed in either direction. Correct answer is C. Passing is not allowed in either direction. Question number 53. If another vehicle is passing you on the highway, you should A. Steer your vehicle into the other lane of the road. B. Increase speed to follow the vehicle. C. Let the other vehicle pass you safely. Correct answer is C. Let the other vehicle pass you safely. Question number 54. Who has the right of way when more than one driver comes to a four way stop? A. The first driver to stop must be the first to proceed. B. The driver who signals first must proceed first. C. The driver with the largest vehicle must proceed first. Correct answer is A. The first driver to stop must be the first to proceed. Question number 55. If you see a solid yellow signal on a traffic light as you approach an intersection, you should a. Stop if you can do so safely. b. Continue with the same speed. c. Speed through the intersection. Correct answer is a. Stop if you can do so safely. Question number 56. If you suddenly have no control of your steering wheel, you should a. Change your transmission to neutral. b. Lift your foot off the brake pedal. c. Lift your foot off the gas pedal. Correct answer is C. Lift your foot off the gas pedal. Question number 57. If the engine suddenly dies while driving around a curve, you must A. Hold your steering wheel and keep your vehicle straight. B. Try to start the engine on the highway. C. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Correct answer is C. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Question number 58. Driver's license I exam assesses your A. Usual acuity. B. Peripheral vision. C. All of the above. Correct answer is C. All of the above. Question number 59. An orange triangle sign behind a vehicle indicates that A. Vehicle travels below 35 miles per hour. B. Vehicle travels below 25 miles per hour. C. Vehicle travels faster than 25 miles per hour. Correct answer is B. Vehicle travels below 25 miles per hour. Question number 60. If a blind pedestrian is crossing the street with a service animal or a white cane, you must A. Use your horn to alert your presence. B. Stop completely. C. Slow down and move slowly. Correct answer is B. Stop completely. Question number 61. A car is approaching you with a high beam. You must A. Look to the right edge of the road. B. Look to the left edge of the road. C. Look at the center of the road. Correct answer is A. Look to the right edge of the road. Question number 62. If you have to park on the street, Park your car. A. As far from the curb as possible. B. As far from the road as possible. C. As far from the traffic as possible. Correct answer is C. As far from the traffic as possible. Question number 63. If you are going to stop or slow down where another driver is not expecting you, you should A. Turn on your headlights. B. Hunk your horn. C. Turn on your hazard lights.
correct answer is C. Turn on your hazard lights. Question number 64. When turning corners, drivers should turn the wheel using A. The hand-to-hand -hand technique B. The hand-over-hand -hand technique C. The one-handed technique Correct answer is B. The hand-over-hand -hand technique Question number 65. Every regulatory device on the road instructs you A. To find your way safely or make your trip more comfortable B. Of the hazardous conditions on your way. C. To stop, proceed or limit your speed. Correct answer is C. To stop, proceed or limit your speed. Question number 66. When you are entering an interstate highway, you should A. Stop and wait for the space to merge with moving traffic. B. Keep up with other traffic and obey posted speed limits. C. Increase your speed beyond the posted speed limit to merge. Correct answer is B. Keep up with other traffic and obey posted speed limits. Question number 67. A flashing red arrow means that A. You may turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. B. You should not turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. C. You must come to a complete stop and then turn when it is safe. Correct answer is, C, you must come to a complete stop and then turn when it is safe. Question number 68. Rectangular signs with black letters on a white background are used as A, warning signs, B, instruction signs, C, regulatory signs. Correct answer is, C, regulatory signs. Question number 69. In which of the following situations is legal to pass a vehicle in the right lane? A. When the vehicle you are passing is trying to change lanes. B. When the vehicle you are passing is turning left. C. When the vehicle you are passing is turning right. Correct answer is B. When the vehicle you are passing is turning left. Question number 70. Do not make a U-turn around a curve or near the top of a hill if you cannot be seen by. A. Drivers approaching from any direction. B. Drivers your right side. C. Drivers in front of you. Correct answer is. A. Drivers approaching from any direction. Question number 71. This signal indicates that. A. Lane has divided ahead. B. There is an area of not going forward. C. That traffic must yield where arrows mark. Correct answer is. A. Lane is divided ahead. Question number 72. If traffic from other roads is merging on the road you are driving, you must. A. Change lanes immediately. B. Adjust your speed and vehicle position to yield. C. Ignore traffic coming together as you have the right of way. Correct answer is B. Adjust your speed and vehicle position to yield. Question number 73. When you are passing another vehicle on a two-lane highway, you can pass A. From the left of the vehicle only B. From the right of the vehicle only C. From the left or right of the vehicle Correct answer is A. From the left of the vehicle only. Question number 74. Which of the following statements is not true? A. Drivers should have valid vehicle registration at all the times. B. Driving without a valid driver's license is okay in rural areas only. C. Valid auto insurance is required to drive on roads. Correct answer is B. Driving without a valid driver's license is okay in rural areas only. Question number 75. Most common places where car and motorcycle collisions occur are A. Roundabout B. Intersections C. Highways Correct answer is B. Intersections Question number 76. When preparing to leave a parallel parking space, 
you should. A. Not make a U-turn on divided highways. B. Not want to yield cyclists approaching behind. C. Indicate your intention with turning signals. Correct answer is C. Indicate your intention with turning signals. Question number 77. When you're driving down the hill, you should A. Change your gear to a neutral position. B. Change your gear to a higher position. C. Change your gear to a lower position. Correct answer is C. Change your gear to a lower position. Question number 78. Car tires slide on a thin layer of water and lose contact with the road is known as A. Skidding B. Sliding C. Hydroplaning Correct answer is C. Hydroplaning Question number 79. This traffic sign means A. Left road is closed B. The left lane is blocked ahead C. Turning left is not allowed. Correct answer is C. Turning left is not allowed. Question number 80. The probability of having an accident increases if the driver has consumed A. Alcohol, drugs or prescription medicines B. A cup of coffee C. An energy drink Correct answer is A. Alcohol, drugs or prescription medicines. Question number 81. Disabled people who display disability placards can park. A. On disability parking places only. B. On disabled and non-disabled parking spots. C. With a front facing out only. Correct answer is B. On disabled and non-disabled parking spots. Question number 82. If you are driving at a slower speed than other road traffic, stay in the lane. A. Closest to the right of the road. B. As close to the middle of the road. C. Closest to the left side of the road. Correct answer is A. Closest to the right of the road. Question number 83. On a highway with multiple lanes, vehicles traveling at high speeds may use A. High occupancy lane. B. Lanes closed to the left. C. Lanes closed to the right. Correct answer is B. Lanes closed to the left. Question number 84. What is the correct manual signal to indicate a left turn? A. Hand and arm extended downwards. B. Hand and arm extended outwards. C. Hand and arm extended upwards. Correct answer is B. Hand and arm extended outwards. Question number 85. When a driver passes a cyclist, the minimum safe distance he must maintain from cyclist is A. 7 feet. B. 3 feet. C. 5 feet. Correct answer is B. 3 feet. Question number 86. When you turn left from a two-way street to a one-way street, you must A. Start your turn with the left lane close to the yellow dividing line. B. Start your turn with the right lane close to the curb. C. Start your turn with the least traffic lane. Correct answer is A. Start your turn with the left lane close to the yellow dividing line. Question number 87. In order to slow down and exit the highway you should use A. Deceleration lanes. B. Exit ramps. C. Acceleration lanes. Correct answer is A. Deceleration lanes. Question number 88. When backing up your vehicle you must A. Use mirrors and look through the rear window. B. Sound your horn to alert pedestrians. C. Turn on four-way flashing lights.
Correct answer is A. Use mirrors and look through the rear window. Question number 89. What does this sign mean? A. A roundabout ahead. B. All traffic turn left. C. Intersection is ahead. Correct answer is A. A roundabout ahead. Question number 90. You may overtake another vehicle safely if you see. A. A school bus ahead with red lights on and a stop sign displayed. B. Continuous broken yellow lines on your side of the lane. C. A hill or curve ahead where visibility is limited. Correct answer is B. Continuous broken yellow lines in your side of lane. Question number 91. How drivers can avoid hypnosis on the road? A. Talking on cell phone frequently. B. Constantly changing lanes. C. Moving your eyes continuously from one side of the road to the other. Correct answer is C. Moving your eyes continuously from one side of the road to the other. Question number 92. If someone follows you very closely you should. A. Increase your speed to avoid the driver behind you. B. Keep a constant speed and stay calm. C. Sound the horn to warn the other driver. Correct answer is B. Keep a constant speed and stay calm. Question number 93. When the sunlight is so bright and you are going to turn or stop. A. Use the horn to warn the other drivers. B. Use hand signals along with turning signal light. C. Use four-way emergency lights. Correct answer is B. Use hand signals along with turning signal lights. Question number 94. Signs of construction or maintenance are often with A. Orange color with white letters. B. Orange color with black letters. C. Yellow color with black letters. Correct answer is B. Orange color with black letters. Question number 95. This regulatory signal is used. A. To prohibit heavy trucks from entering rural roads. B. To prohibit traffic entering from the wrong direction. C. To prohibit certain traffic from entering to the highway. Correct answer is B. To prohibit traffic entering from the wrong direction. Question number 96. If you are one of the first people to arrive at the scene of an accident, you should. A. Move your vehicle as close to the incident as possible. B. Call the police and seek medical help for the injured. C. Try to move injured ones to the hospital. Correct answer is B. Call the police and seek medical help for the injured. Question number 97. When there is not enough space to take a U-turn, you should give. A. A two-point turn. B. A four-point turn. C. A three-point turn. Correct answer is C. A three-point turn. Question number 98. On highway, the area on the other side of a continuous white line is for A. Stop only. B. Parking only. C. Emergencies only. Correct answer is C. Emergencies only. Question number 99. Which of the following right-of-way statements is wrong? A. Vehicles turning left must yield to oncoming traffic. B. When turning, yield to oncoming traffic at four-way stop intersection. C. Drivers must yield to the vehicles already in the intersection. Correct answer is, B, when turning, yield to oncoming traffic at four-way stop intersection. Question number 100, this red and white triangle sign is A, stop sign, B, yield sign, C, construction sign. Correct answer is, B, yield sign.